I've been creating games for almost 12 years now and I always used a game engine, but I always had that feeling that I should learn something else, I should start doing games directly from code, but every time I try it, I found it way harder and way un unnecessary because in my mind I was kind of reinventing the wheel, I was kind of spending a lot of time writing stuff that uh, would not work as great as it would in a game engine and it was going to be way slower to implement as I wanted. But now I'm kind of changing my mind and I'd like to share with you why. First of all, I'm not saying that a game engine is evil and it does not uh, should exist. And, ag and again, you need to understand a little bit of a context before you understand why I don't feel like using a game engine anymore. So I've been creating games for many years, as you saw in the beginning of this video. And I also have a major degree in IT, so I know how to program and I've been trying to learn and studying and developing a game engine for the past four or five years, so I do have some experience on it and I've been published it again. I'm not showing off, I'm not flexing this here, I'm just giving the context that you need to understand why now I don't feel it, okay? During all those years I published around 50 games and I also work as a teacher, I teach game dev here in Brazil, so I've been following along with the development of literally hundreds of games and that gave me a lot of insights and ideas on how to do things better and so on. So once you have that context, let's figure out why I don't feel it anymore and maybe you will not feel it anymore after this video. I don't know, I'm not sure. <laughs> so let's figure that out. The first thing is when you think the idea of creating a game with no engine, you immediately, you immediately think what I was thinking many years ago, like that's reinventing the wheel. I will spend days, weeks, months, or even years here trying to code something that a real engine 4 already have for you and way more tested, way more solid and versatile and so on. So what's the point of using this? And what I've learned it around uh, after those years and mainly after creating my own game engine is that most of the skills, most of the tools that you uh, can expect in the game engine are general tools. What do, you, do I mean about that? Well, they are tools that were thinked to support every type of game. So if you want to make a MOBA, if you want to make an MMORPG, if you want to make an RPG or a first person shooter, a third person shooter, you can, uh, you can use the same camera in the game engine. And if you want to do like a different map, a different style of graphics, you can use it in the same game engine because the game engine itself is made to be generalistic to fit all the needs as possible so this is hard to do this is really not trivial this is something that we're gonna have to think a lot we're gonna have to rethink we're gonna have to implement and revisit the implementation a lot of times and I'm saying that because I do have a game engine as you know uh, if you follow this channel and I'm doing this uh, many times because exactly to make it more general for different audiences different kind of uh, objectives but the question here the key here is when you create a game using a code the first thing that you're gonna have that, that is, you're gonna be in your mind is that you're gonna have to create a game engine you're gonna have to write uh, a code or at least a framework an application a library to uh, make your game on it so this is what I was doing for ages, for many years, and that's super complicated. And in the end, uh, what, I, what I ended up happening is that I wasted a lot of days writing the application, writing the engine, and when it was time to use it, uh, I was not motivated at all to keep using it, and then I scrapped the idea, so I do have like dozens of game engines here in my computer that I literally start writing to make a game and then when a game engine was like almost finished I completely gave up and the other reason why I, I used to do that is because the game engine in the end would not fit exactly what I wanted or would not make it any easier at all to make a game. Uh, in most cases, it was making harder to make a game. <laughs> that's, that's interesting. For example, uh, I wanted to make like, to display a new high in the game, 
but I spent days and weeks encapsulating everything inside the game engine and in the end I had no way to display UIs in the engine. So to make that work I would have to refactor the entire game engine and do it again and that's bad. But then recently I've been thinking well what if I don't make a game agent? Because if I'm not using a game agent, let's not use it at all. Let's not make a game agent to make a game. Let's make a game directly using OpenGL, using DirectX, using bullet physics, using anything you feel like you need to do for your game. And then something clicked in my mind and I learned that uh, a game engine is useful if you are a beginner, if you are a beginner, or even if you are an advanced user but you don't want to bother and spend a lot of time learning OpenGL and so on. Uh, OpenGL programming and so on, it's not a requirement to be an advanced game developer, of course, but if you don't know this kind of stuff, then a game engine is very useful. And it's very useful as well uh, if many different people want to make many different games using it, because then, uh, again, it's a general uh, purpose software, okay? But I was thinking, well, what if I know exactly what kind of game I wanna do? I know exactly uh, what I need to do in order to make that game a reality. And of course, since I know the APIs, I know the programming, I have experience doing game engines, I know how to write the code to actually do that. And I don't wanna reuse that code in, well, I'm doing a first person shooter and reuse that code in maybe five years when I wanna do like a racing game. I don't wanna do that, I just wanna do my game. Would that be faster or better? And it turns out that yes, I've been uh, watching some YouTube videos lately of 2D games and something that I really like on 2D games is where you have like uh, shadows in the map. Especially for roguelikes, you have like the player and then you have the map, but the player can't see what is not uh, on, on the line of sight between the player and the object. So everything gets dark. And I was thinking, wow, how to do that using the game engine that I'm used to? Uh, in this case, it's Blender Game Engine or my own game engine, even my own game engine. And I was like, hmm, that was gonna be hard, man. That was gonna be way hard. I'm gonna have to write a bunch of scripts, do some stuff that is a little bit sketchy, and maybe I was gonna have this result. But then I was like, hmm, how hard it will be if I just open um, a, a blank C++ project and start typing some OpenGL code. And it turns out that you're gonna be easy AF. And I was like, well, <laughs> why not just use uh, OpenGL directly? Why not use, uh, use C++ directly to make a game? And I'm kind of feeling like that uh, today and I'd like to share with you because maybe I'm not the only one uh, every time I open my game uh, a game engine I'm not talking just about my game engine to be honest my game engine is, is very excited because it's very exciting for me because I wrote it so I am always excited I'm always excited to use it and I really think it's a versatile game engine as well but when I open like other game engines I feel like I would do it better if I just type the code. And again, I don't say that I can do better than Unreal. I don't, I'm not saying that I can do better than Unity, than Godot. I'm not saying that I can do better than a game engine. I'm saying that I can write the code that I need specifically for my game. I don't need to write a generalistic game engine. I don't need to, to write a code that is gonna fit for every kind of game. But I, if I want to write a code and I do it to fit my needs for my specific game. And of course, if I wanna do a different game, I'm gonna have to rewrite the entire thing again. And that may sound like a bad idea, but in the end, the amount of code that you need to put together like a basic handling and so on for your needs. And in this case, I'm talking about my needs. Your needs may be different, of course. And But the amount of code that I need is not a lot and it's gonna vary a lot uh, from game to game. And of course, if the game is similar, I'm gonna use the same code base and that's no problem. But I've been like, not feeling complete using a game engine anymore exactly because I always think oh I can do it way better and way faster if I write my own code to do it so so it's very it, it's a weird decision but I'm kind of going to this point there's a guy on YouTube I'm gonna leave uh, the link of his channel in the description it's called Nick Caston and he did a video 
saying Unity Dots versus Hand Build sample project, where he basically created the same game, the same project, uh, using Unity versus using his all C++ code. And by the way, this guy is very, uh, is a very good programmer. I really like to watch his videos. I'm gonna leave the link in the description again. And that was fun because uh, he basically did everything, he wrote everything he needs and it was very fast and since the, the, the code was specific to its uh, usability, he was able to push a way better performance out of it and so on. And exactly because the, the code he wrote was not a generalistic code, he, he did not had to make any assumptions to make the code reusable. He just made the code as fast as possible in terms of performance and so on. And that's one of the doors that you unlock once you know how to make your own game engine. And I found it amazing. I really like this feeling and I really want to explore it more. I don't have many games published with no game engine and I know that's weird, but I'm trying to, to improve that number more and more. I do have like five games or 10 maybe uh, with no game engine, but I don't think it's a lot. And the, uh, the last one was like quite a while ago. So I'm gonna have to work on that a bit, but I'm, I'm feeling like I'm gonna be happiest uh, if I try this. And by the way, if you wanna learn how to make a game with no game engine, I just released a brand new course on Udemy where I'm gonna teach you how to make 2D game using Python and Pygame, and it's the most straight to the point course I've already made because I'm gonna teach you exactly how to uh, use the APIs, why the APIs works like that, and I'm gonna understand how to uh, do basically everything that you need in order to make your 2D games. I'm gonna leave the link in the description so you'll be able to see everything that, gonna learn, that you're gonna learn in the course. And again, it's super cheap, it's the minimal uh, price that Udemy allowed me to put. So make sure you check it out and I think you're gonna enjoy it a lot especially if you like Python because I love Python and I really think that Python is a great start for everyone that wants to get started with programming maybe game engine development it's so good I, I started that way and I think you're gonna learn and enjoy that way as well so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it and leave in the comments what you think do you agree with me you do you disagree and why <laughs> that's that's a cool conversation make sure you leave your comments join my discord as well and subscribe to the channel if you are not my name is Guilherme and I see you in the next video when the music